hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my face for the very first time hi welcome my name is adora and you're watching life with adabeke please be sure to like share comment subscribe and let me know in the comments what made you click what brought you you know how did you find my video i like to know all this stuff and if you're one of my ogs one of my returners hi welcome back like i said in my last video this is the part two of the part one so if you have not watched the part one go and watch the part one the part one is very very important and it will help you with this part two as well so please watch the part one like i said at the end of the part one i was featured um in a podcast i was featured in a podcast a pre-med podcast a, pod a co podcast run by pre-meds you know where they talk to med students and you know other pre-meds and they had they were doing an international student series and i was featured so i i will put the link to that my episode in the description box so you guys should please go and listen listen to it tell me what you think you know it makes me very very happy that people are finding me people are listening to my story and all of that let me know what you think so on to the video of today so today's video and in case you're wondering why i'm looking down you know my trusted book is here today's video this part two is going to be about you know how to prepare for the secondary wave so let me tell you what happens right and some of you might actually be going through that right now once you submit your primary application you're waiting for the process of verification right your application gets verified and i think you guys submitted the it's open to start um, open to start submitting applications on in may end of may and then the first batch of um verified applications started going out to schools around end of june so and we're in july now so that means that like as in some of you are already getting the secondaries what happens is that once your applications are verified it gets sent immediately to the schools that to the schools that you put on your school list and some schools automatically send out secondaries to every applicant so what you what will happen is like let's say you apply to 20 schools you will get like 14 um, secondary applications instantly all at once like literally i remember like the that day that my they told me that literally if, i think it was august 3rd august 3rd and 4th my phone my email this one i sent you this one, this one like I, it was very anxiety inducing i won't lie to you so they just some of them just automatically send out secondaries to everybody to all the applicants they will just it's, it's automatic um some do maybe they will screen some schools do screeners like maybe they have like a if you, you need to get like maybe a 495 they only send like people with 495 m card and three point but the point is chances are you will get secondaries from almost every school that you apply to and you have to realize that the average applicant is applying to over 20 schools so that's like 20 different secondaries so that's why ada is here today to tell you how to prepare for that because it's about to be a massive so the first thing is i want you to keep a spreadsheet or some kind of tracker you need a tracker <laughs> i personally use a spreadsheet and i'm going to insert like a picture here of what my spreadsheet kind of look like right you need that spreadsheet you need it is a need not a want you can if you're like me that i love my excel spreadsheets i use that if you're old school and want like a, a paper thing good fine you need a spreadsheet where like it will say like the school um what dates you um the, i guess the date you submitted yours primary will be the same for everything but what dates you know you receive the secondary from them what dates you submitted any kind of you know to also keep track of any communications with adcoms if you're like me who was asking for secondary fee waivers or you know who was asking about you know different questions you want to keep track of okay did this school give me a fee waiver did they not give me you know you just need something to keep track it's very very important for you to keep track of those communications and those dates and the reason why is because there's this two-week rule okay let me explain the two-week rule for anybody who hasn't heard about it there's this idea that you want to turn in you want to return your secondaries two weeks at least you know give or take two weeks after you got it right and the reason for this is that 
Apparently, some schools' ad comms do keep track of how late you return secondaries. So, like, the, if, if it's taking, like, two months, maybe they sent you a secondary in July and you didn't get it back to them in September, that looks bad. That actually looks bad. It, it, it looks bad. So, there's this idea, like, two weeks. However, don't, like, die on top of that. So, if it takes three weeks, I don't think that's, like, a deal breaker. But that's why I said you should keep track of when you got it so that you can know when, hey, it's kind of getting to my two-week mark or three-week mark. Like, I really should, like, be done and send these essays back. You don't... My point is, with that two-week rule, the whole point is you don't want to delay. It's not something that you say, oh, because you have to realize that Others are sending back their own. And admissions is first come, first serve. As they are sending back, they are looking at it and they are granting interviews, right? So if you delay, if you wait one month, six weeks, that's interview spots that you could have gotten that are leaving, they are leaving you. They are leaving you. They are leaving you, my dear God. <laughs> you don't want to, like, you know, jeopardize your chances of getting an interview when you could have, you could have sent this stuff out when you know within and two weeks how can you beat the rush and make sure that you are actually able to send out your your secondaries within two weeks is by pre-writing your secondaries in the first video i gave you like cheat sheets about how to approach writing some of the common questions that you're going to see in secondaries secondary applications so in your secondary a lot of those questions are reusable because a lot of schools do ask the same question you might need to tweak here tweak there um i know do schools might like ask like why do if you have a why do question you know like essay you can apply that to all the why do because your why do is not going to change if you have a adversity essay anytime they ask you about adversity guess what copy and paste bro you know you don't need to write a different um adversity essay for ucla that you wrote for michigan State. you understand you don't need that my point is that you want to try and pre-write. I'm going to also link either below and in my description box. I think it's Meded Media. They have like a running year to year updated list of the secondary questions for each school. And so that was actually what I did. I went all the schools I was applying for. I copied and pasted all their secondary questions. I remember Duke. <laughs> Duke had the most the longest and the most unique questions i couldn't reuse any of my questions so i actually ended up not completing duke secondaries because by the time i got to it i was so burnt out so i, I remember duke was the one school i didn't even complete my secondaries i just i just i dropped out <laughs> i dropped out of that application because i was just like i can't do this anymore <laughs> i was so burnt out by that point pre-write your secondaries if you're someone who hasn't said who hasn't gotten secondaries back this is a good time to be pre-writing them just write like get the, at least those common questions get them out so like you know once the secondary wave starts you're going to have the essays already you're going to already have them you know they're already checked you know you just copy and paste into the box and you're ready another thing is you want to make sure you already you've already taken your pictures because the, the schools will ask you for like a a headshot kind of thing already have that ready to go me i already had one so i was just like it was already ready to go like headshots all your address all those things those information those are ones that are normal you already want them you want to have them yeah, ready reuse to go. your essays like reuse certain essays if you know that two programs are quite similar and they are why us like why this school you can change things here and there like don't be afraid to reuse they don't talk to each other bro <laughs> Don't be afraid to reuse. Definitely the common questions like diversity, adversity, strengths and weaknesses, those ones definitely reuse. <laughs> reuse your essays. Like, I know some people who were like, they felt the need that they needed to like write a fresh essay for like the same, basically the same idea for different schools. Why? Don't do that. Like, please save yourself the stress. Then, reuse the essay. Last but not least, this is the money thing. Each secondary application ranges from the lowest I saw was $75 and the highest I saw was $125. This is inflation now, so I don't know if the inflation has affected them. But you, you need to know that you are going to be paying a lot of money. I did a video on the cost of applying to medical school and some of the biggest costs actually comes from secondary apps. 
So you want to have the money on hand, either on a debit card or get your credit card ready, man. Get that credit card ready. Like you do not want that a situation where you ended up delaying your application or you didn't submit an application on time because you do not have the money. It will pain you. Ah, oh, God, it can pain, I swear. So like as much as possible, especially if you're watching me for the future, Maybe in this app cycle, it might be a little rough. But if you're definitely watching me for like a future app cycle, please try and get that money ahead of time. Like wherever it is, like have that money on hand because they're going to they're gonna to take it immediately. <laughs> so you don't want to delay. You don't want the reason why, you know, you couldn't get your apps in or anything to be because of money. And this one is quite rough because these people really shouldn't be charging this much. But you really don't want money to be the limiting factor to why you couldn't get your secondary application in on time. As always, make sure that you are able to, you know, like look into the WMC fee waiver. International students are now eligible. So even international students, you can actually still look into the, the fee waiver. So please look into the fee waiver because having that fee waiver... If you have the WMC fee waiver, schools might actually, a lot of schools will also waive your secondary for um, secondary application fee waiver. So look into that as well. Um, some, I, so I've heard of programs who do scholarships for medical school application. Your school, your undergrad campus might have something like that. So talk to your pre-med advisor. They might have like, you know, certain scholarships or things that you might actually be eligible for. But just... Get the money sorted before the rush. That's what I'm saying. Get the money sorted before the rush. Because you really don't want the money to be what delayed you at the end of the day. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope this video was helpful to you. If it was helpful to you, please share it with one other person. Please. And don't forget to listen to the podcast that was featured in. Um, I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was meaningful for you. If you are applying this cycle again, good luck. I wish you all the best. I want all of you to come back and tell me, I got in. Yes, that's what I want to hear. If you're applying a future cycle, keep grinding, keep getting your stuff ready. You know, I'm going to keep bringing you more and more med content as well as, well as other non-med content. Keep watching my videos. My views have been going down. You people should watch my videos. Encourage me. I'll keep posting. I'll keep bringing out content for you guys because I love, I love sharing all this knowledge with you. I remain your girl, Adabeke. Until the next time we meet, bye. Mm. <laughs>